Hello, I'm Steve Knutson. I'm an MVP for Microsoft uh, Office 365 apps and services. Um, I'm going to do a wee demo of SharePoint Online, some of the modern features, including um, Mega Menu and um, Hub Sites, etc. So, put in front of me here is our new demo site that I've just been working on. Um, on the top of the site, you'll see that I've got this set up as a Hub site, and I've also connected three sites to the Hub down here, uh, uh, two team sites and a modern comm site. Um, using a bunch of web parts such as the quick links web part, news roll up, uh, inserted a YouTube video and uh, a few other bits and pieces like events and a countdown time at Christmas, recent documents etc. So uh, let's start with the Mega Menu. So in an earlier video I've talked a wee bit about the Mega Menu already. Um, Mega Menus themselves are configured on a communication site and if that communication site is a hub they will also flow to any other sites connected to that hub. Uh, so in this case, both team sites and communication sites. Um, what I've done here is I've structured my uh, navigation with a team site area, so my corporate services and operations departments, projects area with a project toolkit, a currently active projects and links to archives, managers toolbox and employee toolbox with things like uh, useful things for managers, uh, new starters, leave and pay, etc. Uh, and then systems, which is links to external systems. So these are kind of common things you might find on a on a typical navigation. Now, let's have a quick look at editing the Mega Menu. So if I go click on the Edit option here, uh, as a site owner, you'll see I've got the Mega Menu here with three layers. I've got my top level navigation up here, which is the team site. Then within that, I've got two zones: corporate services and operations, with sub sites inside them. I'll click on one of these, edit the link. You'll notice that my links currently only go to Google, uh, but that could be actually to a SharePoint uh, team site. You can also move these around, so for example if I wanted to put human resources ahead of information technology, I can do that uh, just by dragging it up. And you'll see this as I roll, roll down, basically the same structure. If I wanted to add a new item in, I'll click into here, and I'll click the button, add the link and display name, or I can also just make it a heading if I don't want to include a URL. Once I've done that, I can use, oops, I can use these buttons here to either Uh, promote the sublink, which basically moves it up a level on the navigation, uh, or to um, move it down if it's already um, uh, into make it another level down in the menu. And once I'm done, just hit save. So, a uh, couple of quick little other things which I'm seeing now in modern SharePoint is my um, my search modern shared search. So if I typing it up in here, it's a contextual search across my uh, hub and connected sites. I've also got um, done a couple of other things. So if I just click onto the cog here, you'll see one of them under change the look. I've taken the header area, area changed, chosen the compact header. I've also set the background colour on the header to be blue. Um, under the navigation, I've selected the mega menu option rather than the cascading option. That gives me the mega menu functionality up here. Uh, and also, um, also actually the one of the thing I've done in here is, uh, sorry, I'm going to change the lock, is in the footer section down here, um, I've got the ability now to make the footer visible. So what that actually does is allows you to put links in the bottom of the page, um, uh, <coughs> such as you know, links to contact information, etc., or other things you might want to put in the page footer. Um, now, if I pop over to this side here, this is my uh, this is a subsite connected to this uh, to this particular site. It's just a micro standard team site. You'll see the navigation is also inherited to here. Uh, so any navigation changes made in that parent hub site connected to here. There is one shortcoming, which is that if you have multiple hub sites, you'll need to configure the the navigation in each of the hubs, as it doesn't flow through to. It, there's no way currently to connect those hubs together. I'll just jump back to my parent site. And um, a few other little things, that, little tricks I've done in here. So these are some of the web parts on the page. I've just uh, um, done this one here. It's just a quick links web part, and I've just used the uh, used the tiles layout with medium sized tiles, and then added the icons in. I've also uh, used the site roll up web part here. So this one basically says 
show all sites connected to this hub in a grid and the standard Newsweek part of the US well, which is in this case I've got the news running from my from just from my top site, although I could specify all sites needed to the hub or a communication site to roll content up if I wanted to provide, say, a site for corporate communications. And that's about it for this demo. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed this video on Modern SharePoint. I'm Steve Knutson, Microsoft MVP for Office Apps and Services. Uh, you can learn more at my blog, 100watt.wordpress.com, or you can follow me on Twitter, at NZTechTweet. Thank you.